Hey, it's Matt Pinfield. This is KLOS Noon Approved. I'm here with a guy that I've loved since I was a teenager and uh, so excited to be back here with him again on the show. It's Billy Idol. Billy. Hi there, Matt. It's always great to see you. Yeah, fantastic to see you. You know, so let's talk about uh, how, how cool is it to get a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame? I, I can't think of a guy who deserves it more in rock and roll just because of the, the unbelievable journey that you've taken it. Also, what you mean uh, to the West Coast, you know, from going from England, to Long Island, and New York City, all the different places you've lived, but you've made the West Coast your home for uh, for a long time. Is it exciting to finally uh, get this star? Yeah, it is actually. It's it's pretty wild. Yeah, you know, we did the uh, star creation the other day, and just even doing that it really brings home to you. Wow, this is really happening, and uh, it's pretty wild to be standing there, and even like there's Leonard Bernstein's near me, <laughs> just thinking about you know the other people who who've been honoured over the years. It's pretty wild to be included, even you know remotely. Uh, just really wild, David Bowie and the uh, the Beatles. I mean, there's so many The Doors, so many musical artists, but Brando and everybody. I mean, it's pretty crazy, and you just would never have thought. When we were starting out in punk rock, you know, because we are only doing it, we thought maybe it'll last six months, maybe a year, you know, maybe for a lucky two years. But, you know, yeah. here we are a million years later. God, I could never have imagined any of this. So uh, it's pretty, pretty wild. I think it's, it's just a fantastic thing. Who were, uh, as you were a kid growing up, who were some of the movie stars that you loved? Who were the people that you were into? That well, you know, back then in England and stuff, uh, you were growing up with the kind of the old the stars of my parents and that on the, on the TV. And then the new stars, De Niro and everybody uh, on the in the movies, you know. So, uh, so funnily enough, we really grew up with both, you know, the old and new stars. So, uh, so I, I, you know, and I still watch a lot of old movies as well as the new movies. So uh, I know a lot of the, you know, this James Stewart movies and his westerns I like a lot and stuff. So, you know, That's I know a lot of those, the people that I'm kind of, you know, going to be... Uh, kind of honoured with, I, I know their work, so, uh, you know, you kind of know, wow, look what they did, and, well, I can't believe I'm even in the same breath as them, it's Is kind it, of wild. Do you think about sometimes when you used to ride your motorcycle, if you were driving up Sunset, and you'd probably walk by and say, oh, you know, and here you are, all these things. Well, it's even, the, you know, there's a kink song, you know, you can see all the stars as you walk down Hollywood, you never yeah, would celluloid think. Yeah, <laughs> great you know, one, right? Celluloid. You never think that's, you know, you just think that yeah, it's a great song, we never think it's going to be going to be one of the people he's talking about. So it's pretty wild. I think it's fantastic. Hey, Billy, so I know they've been working on a documentary on your life. I mean, it started around the time of the pandemic. Any any updates on that? Yeah, we've been compiling a lot of stuff and putting it together. So it's coming along. It's one of those things. Um, just takes a bit of time to really, and also why not take some time over? This is, you know, this has kind of been a long uh, I've had, a, I have had a long career, and also we're kind of making me, music that I really care about. So it's a question of being able to get it all in, really. But uh, it's, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff, and now we're just sort of like really weaving the story. Yeah, I cannot wait to see it because you know, to catch a glimpse of you as a kid, being a huge Generation X fan, I went to a, like a late night showing of the punk movie where you guys, I think they kissed me deadly in that. Yeah, and uh, and I'm like, well, there, there they are. You know, Generation X, and I was such a Huge fan. Speaking of that, I know that you're uh, the Generation Sex show that I sadly missed at the Roxy when you, Tony James, your original bass player and uh, and co-songwriter, and Steve Jones and Paul Cook from the Pistols played. I wasn't there. I was so so bummed that I was out of town. And I hear you're going to do a show in England. You, is there any chance you might do some shows back here in Los Angeles? It's yeah, it's probably it's quite likely we will at some point. Uh, yeah, that's right. We're doing. Um, it was a show with Blondie and uh, Iggy Pop. Uh, yeah. So it's kind of fantastic. That'll be a, at Crystal Palace. That'll be a great show. And I think we're doing a few other shows in London. And then, yes, possibly when we come back here, we'll we'll do some here as well. Yes, definitely on the cards. We'll, yeah. we'll do them. They're a lot of fun. So. Yeah, I ran into Billy Morrison last night and Jonesy. And we were talking about, talking about it a bit. And he goes, oh, you get, get Billy's getting star. I'm like, yeah, I'll be there. There's no yeah. question about it, which is... Which is really cool. Um, let's talk about Cage. Cage went all the way to number one on our countdown. Wow. I love that song on the EP. That's a great track. Can you tell me a little bit more about that song? Because it just has, it was such an anthem. Seeing you do it at the Roxy, at the benefit that you put on there uh, for, for your stylist hairdresser, that was yes. such an incredible show and a beautiful tribute to, uh, to her to, uh, you know, it was to raise money. 
Talk to me about that song. Yeah, well, it really was. You know, we'd lived with the pandemic. We came to write it. We'd lived with the pandemic for a couple of years, so uh, we all knew what we'd all been going through. And then it was even just uh, chatting about it as we were kind of coming up with it. You know, Steve Stevens remembered the, the you know Sunset Boulevard. The you know the shop windows were boarded up, sort of a bit like they boarded up our ambitions. You know, we were sort of being held back. And then in the even the zombies at the window, we we're making friends with them. They've been. Like the night of the living dead, we've been sort of, yeah. <laughs> it was all this sort of allusions to like being held back and like breaking out. And it was really just because we'd all gone through the coronavirus and the lockdowns and we were just sort of sick of it really. So it's easy to write a song like that. And uh, yeah, we felt like we'd been caged in. But then it can be about any time in society or whenever you feel that way, that you feel like you're being hemmed in a bit, you know, back in the punk rock days in the in England, that's what we felt like. We felt like that then, so it wasn't so difficult to kind of think of the past and today when you're writing a song like that and think what people are looking for, you know. But that's just, we were just sort of getting getting uh, getting it out, really getting the frustrations out with it. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, such a great show there. Seeing you play, you, you were in top form. You sounded incredible, Steve Stevens. One of the greatest guitar players. I mean, his, he was just crushing it that night. You guys were so good. But, Billy, you know, this is really exciting. I want to congratulate you again on getting the star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And uh, I couldn't be happier about it, man. You know, like I said, <laughs> you know what a fan I've been since, like, <laughs> I heard your generation. That was, You know, and it's it's been a long journey, but yeah. a great one. And you look amazing. I love what you post on social media, being a grandfather. And your family is beautiful. You know, I love that love of family that you have. Yeah, it's been it's been that's it's been a beautiful thing too. And uh, you know, uh, just sort of being able to enjoy being here and fairly fairly together. You know, I'm not yeah. not like the old. I know you're sober and stuff. I'm not yeah. sober, but I'm not I'm yeah. not in tripping the light. Fantastic. So yeah. I'm so I'm in the right space to enjoy things like having grandkids and things. And it's it's been lovely. Yeah, I love to see it, Billy. Well, thank you so much for coming by. And visiting us Cheers, as man. we celebrate your star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah, and congratulations. I know you've done a lot to stay sober. I know you've really worked hard at it. So it's always, it's it's stirring to see because it, it helps me to go, there's other people out there like me. Yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Really. It really Coming helps. from you, it means, it means the world to me. So thank Cheers, you so man. much. Billy Idol, everybody. Uh, Scale of us, noon approved. Yeah. <laughs>